Hi and welcome to Angling for you and today you join me for another Lockdown Series 2 video and it's a long term look at how my superior luggage has handled the, the fishing throughout the year, I've had them for two years now, how's it handled that, what are the zips, what are the uh, velcro, what is the quality like, now you know I, I do a lot of fishing, um, I do a lot of lugging up and down banks, uh, into trolleys, and in and out of the car um, and for me it's just showing you what the gear looks like and how has it survived with that um, Matt, Matt Richardson who obviously you know runs a channel with me recommended um, a couple of things like this uh, that would probably come in handy if you're looking at buying something because when you buy something you obviously you take it at face value you'll do a little bit of research and obviously the you know, it, it, nine times out of ten, it looks good, and there's there's good feedback about it. But the main thing for me is the fact that do you really know what it's going to be like in six months, uh, in twelve months? Not really. Nobody really does that. So that's what we're going to do today. So we've got three uh, different types of luggage. We've got the one on my left, which is the pole roller and accessories uh, bag kit bag. Um, we've got the um, bait bag. This one is the small bait bag, as it says on the front, and we've got the carry-all, um, which has got the nets and all sorts of other side, bits and bobs in there. Um, and we'll go through each one of them uh, quite briefly and just talk through how they've, uh, they've survived on. Now, obviously, if you want to go and look at the unboxings of the original and go through all the features and things that they've got, go and have a look on our unboxing reviews. Each one of these is on there, so you can be able to see what they look like and the prices and all that kind of um, information. So we're going to start with the pole roller box. Um, now the pole roller bag um, is a fair old size bag and is now really essential for nearly everybody carrying the pole rollers and the attachments for the boxes. This one's quite a good one because it's got this big front zip which I can put both my tripods in for the GoPro and for this main 4K camera that we've got here. But it's also big enough inside to house even the biggest of rollers. Now you, you will have seen hopefully the video where I've just done our new matrix rollers. Um, they're quite a big old uh, set of rollers. Now you can see that they fit them in side by side and I've got all my attachments. Um, I've got my ripple bars, my um, attachments for um, my feeder arm and the roost. There's a towel in there and there's some more stuff stuck in there. You can see it houses that quite well, um, zips up with no strain on it. Now the first thing f f about the longevity of this is the zips. They're super durable. As you can see, the zips perfectly. There's no fray marks anywhere and it gets unzipped and zipped and I do rag, it, it is quite full. Um, so the, the first thing I'll say about the zips are in perfect condition. Um, I'm really surprised um at how well they are uh, considering you know the amount of use it gets but it's that they're as strong and as good as the war when they were um still new even down to the little tags that come rubber tags that come on there still on um and still hanging on there um the one that gets fulled the most it isn't at the moment because obviously the tripods with the camera on is this one and it does zip tight sometimes and again you can see the quality of that double zip it just keeps it in really good condition um, and that's the one where I have to really force it shut sometimes um, and it's still in perfect condition. Now, the, for scratches and stuff, it, it's actually really well. This is just mud um, and just looking at the top again, just mud. The superior logo in the Meoprim still on there. It's not peeling off. Um, it's on in good condition. Looking at the handles again where to join the seams no ripping no pulling out same on the same on the other side um there's, there's no pulling or no fraying uh, of anything whatsoever and the main thing is uh, the velcro the velcro's naturally a bit worn uh, but it does still hold together and you still can pick it up with a lot of weight in there and it doesn't pull off it's obviously not never going to stay as strong as you first get it but to be honest it's still got quite a good amount of strength in there the handle itself again 
totally robust. It's not tearing on the ends on either side. The strap's in really good condition. There's no fraying. There's the padding still strong. The leather tabs that attach it, really good condition. So overall, this one, for me, passes a test. And it's actually going to be replaced again. Not because it's not brilliant. Um, purely on the fact, like I said, when I do my other videos, we, we move on the gear to sort of show new stuff and things that are out so this is getting replaced um so this will be up for sale so you have to have a look on social media it may it may have gone by the time this video comes up which i do apologize for um but there is a matrix one that's coming as you would have as you probably would have imagined to replace that one so moving on to this i, I went with the smaller one um looking back at it i think that's a bad idea in my part i wish i'd have got the bigger one um i had the reeve one before this and it was a lot bigger um and that's the only downside with it in regards to what you're buying it for it's absolutely perfect and does the job i just need a bigger one that's as simple as it when i fish in the summer and i got a lot of pellets uh, stored inside and um, from lindome and oaks and things like that plus i i have i carry at least four bags of ground bait for my pace fishing it gets a bit full in there um but again it's had a lot of weight in it and the velcro has has held up quite well i would say this one is a little bit less than the other velcro just maybe on the sides but still grips it enough that you can put it together um and you know still still is in one piece the strap like i say everything just needs a little bit of a wash uh, which i will do before i sell it um but again the, where it joins no fraying no tearing the straps in great condition as is the zip pockets the zips perfect condition uh, and the side zips really good condition and inside it's obviously got the liner um, that keeps things hot or cold um, and again the zips for that perfect condition and the insides no no fray marks no nothing um, no rip marks um, just really good condition and this is one of the reasons why I've stayed with this pre uh, Preston luggage for quite a while and people may say well why do you even change it then because if it's that good and you know why because <laughs> I keep explaining it it's purely to bring you new content and to try new things out I've gone for the matrix luggage um, because I've got the matrix stuff at the moment uh, that will probably stay when I move on to the next box um, I tend to keep them for at least a couple of years or a year and a half or so so I had this um, before I bought um, the Preston box and then I kept it through that I kept it through having the garbly you know, and into the matrix so moving on to the last one this one again takes a lot of weight um, with a carry-all mainly it's um, full of bait tubs and spare reels and, and all sorts of bits and bobs um, and again the front pouch the clips still working perfectly there's no tears on the skirt there's no tears on on the front it's not even stretched there's no puncture marks from uh, the ends of um, nets there's nothing underneath like a bottom they've got the hard cases on 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 at least these two which keeps it in good nick and stops the bottom from fraying or getting holes in so that's in perfect condition the clips work perfectly and um, the top velcro is probably the strongest that it is out of all three of the bags probably because of the weight that it's had in it um, and in, it's still in really good nick along with the strap itself again no fraying no marks where it's tearing or pulling or anything like that and um, the deep pockets not a mark in those the zips work perfectly on both sides really good condition and uh, on the back it's got that big large pocket that again houses bits of attachments and is still in really good condition quickly moving on to the main the main zip perfect the inside with a wash look almost brand new and you know the zips again double zips uh, double strength zips um not even a whimper of movement in those that, and again does get a lot of stuff put into it um especially, especially when you go out in your summer and you carry a spare jacket or it gets too warm or whatever and you put in stuffing stuff in there and um, camera bags also and what uh, whatever else i carry around in it again the logos the rubberized not coming off and not 
even making a mark on there. So overall, massively impressed. Um, they look great. They're really strong. They're, I won't say they're fully waterproof, but they've got a, sort of a, a semi-waterproof material on that does keep the um, dry for quite a downpour and just really durable and that's the main thing that we're talking about is durability and uh, you know that's why I've done today's uh, long-term test so if they are something you're interested in I would highly recommend them especially in the price ranges the, the quite reasonable price for 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 the the top of the range quality so thank you very much again we'll keep these videos uh, rolling hope everybody's doing okay and uh, get onto the Facebook group if you're not join that social network there where there's lots of people all chatting to lots in similar predicaments and lots of nice uh, comments and feelings and what people are going through on there as well and also if you just want to look at the pictures and send some pictures on uh, Instagram angling underscore for you then do that uh, for sure put down in those comments if there's any videos you'd like us to try and do in this lockdown period and thanks a lot for watching take care of yourselves tight lines